Hello everybody, it's Matthew, yeah that's me, and you're watching another episode of Rice Farming TV. In this video, I'm going to teach you the beginning of how rice is grown using nothing but rhymes and my little drone. Out on the rice farm, I've been working nonstop, so I'm excited to share with you the progress of our new crop. And now that spring has come around, the heat of the sun has dried up the ground. The time is now to hook up our red tractor to the chisel plow. Into the fields we go, dragging the plow nice and slow. And as you see there, we're ripping the dirt exposing it to the air. This will dry it out real nice because in a couple of days we'll plow it again for a total of twice. Afterwards we're left with these big chunks of dirt. The ground is not ready, no, we still have some work. You see these dirt clods we need to break up because the field is just too rough. But that's an easy fix. We'll take our red tractor and hook it up to a big red disc. As the disc blades turn, the clods are sliced, flipped, and mixed breaking them down to about the size of your fist. And as you can see, the dirt is nice and dry, evidenced by that dust that starts to fly. We'll wait a couple days and then disc it once more, just as we had done with the chisel plow before. Now our progress has found its groove, but before we move on, we need to make this field smooth. Yes, we want it nice and flat. We'll need to use our big yellow land plane in order to do that. The dirt clods tumble and roll as we go. The bucket takes dirt from high spots to fill in where it was low. You see, water will eventually flow over this leveled field, and a constant depth will help the yield. We want our planted rice field not too dry, but not too deep. An equal amount of water is what we'd like to keep. But I'm getting ahead of myself now. Before we add water, we need to add fertilizer. Let me explain how. The Jolly Green John Deere tractor is our new star. He's pulling behind him what's called an aqua bar. He's injecting nitrogen three inches down into the ground. There it will wait for the rice plant's roots to be found. And the tractor moves fast as the loose dirt is combed by his shanks. And the only time he needs to slow down is to refill his tanks. I'm happy to report that when he is done, the number of tractor operations is down to one. Yes, that's right. Our tractor work is about to come to an end. Our last operation, we're going to roll on a fertilizer blend. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. We roll this blend right on top, giving our new crop its first nutrient pop. Yes, to apply the fertilizer, a roller is what we use. It's perfect because all around it has grooves. These grooves create indentations in the dirt as the roller moves ahead, creating really tiny ridges that make for an awesome seed bed. And with that, the tractor work is done. We're ready for water. Now, wasn't that fun? Once the field is flooded about two inches deep, we call up the crop duster, we're on the edge of our seat. The seeds come down like rain. There's nothing more rewarding than watching the plane. Now the long days are done. We can exhale a deep breath of air, but the work remains because this baby rice needs love and care. But that is a subject to be told down the line in a future episode, in due time. I hope you enjoyed this video of how we plant rice. If you did, give me a thumbs up. That sure would be nice. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any questions, please let me know by writing them down in the comment section below. And if you have time, make your comment rhyme. Thank you. What's his name? Uh, Goofy Gopher. Goofy Gopher Snake? Goofy Gopher Snake. Okay, that's close.